Coming up on today's countdown, if you don't eat enough vegetables, we can solve all your problems with vegetableless vegetables. Don't worry, we'll explain in just a moment. Plus, we have some Plant 19 humor and more in this week's edition of Friday Five, which is brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. We'll start the countdown with this. It's not a carrot. Say hello to a meat vegetable, or as I like to call it, the vegetable. Our friends over at Arby's have created this, taking a hard line stance as the champion of meat. This is a merit or meat carrot. It's a whole turkey breast cut in the shape of a carrot rolled in a special carrot marinade and then oven roasted. It's topped with parsley to give it that full carrot effect. Now for now, Arby's is in the early stages of exploring the vegetables concept, so the merit is not available to guests, but they plan to continue working behind the scenes on filling the category of protein-packed vegetables. Not bad, not bad. Well, moving on, Nebraska saw severe weather this week. Unfortunately, not long after they finally got uh, their crops in the ground. Reports of baseball sized hail came from Holstein, Nebraska on Tuesday, and these photos were snagged by a few people in that area. Most of those storms were seen Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That comes as Nebraska's corn condition is rated 19% fair and 66% good, while Nebraska's soybeans are rated 22% fair and 68% good. Now for our social media story of the week. We know it's been an awfully long growing season for producers, but some have been able to add some humor to the situation. These photos were floating around on the Twitter sphere. Brian Coffin captured this one. Just a beer hanging out with the guys that helped make me natural light. Taking a stab at the cornless Bud Light. And this Twitter post with Michael Klein saying, My cousin's time hop bringing back the good times. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue was a traveling man this week. He took part in the 23rd annual Great Iowa Tractor Ride, driving his very own International 656 Farmall Tractor. The Secretary's father purchased the Farmall brand new back in 1968, and it was restored in 2010. This tractor ride takes place over the three days in Iowa. There were about 380 tractors total, and each traveled just short of 180 miles around the Council Bluffs area. At the event, Secretary Perdue discussed prevented planting acreage coverage as well as ethanol policy. And as we round out the month of June, we still have a little time to celebrate one of America's favorites, Bomb Pops. Thursday was National Bomb Pop Day, and only Alex can track things like that down. You might be thinking of uh, Bomb Pops as just water, sugar, and fruity flavors, but these tasty treats, they actually have corn syrup in them, too. Yeah, they were first invented back in 1955, and today, under a different company, they're made in a wide range of flavors, including watermelon, Hawaiian Punch and Jelly Rancher. Not bad. That will round out this week's edition of Friday Five, which is brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. Have a great weekend. I'm going to go eat this now. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.